Hello there, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Gemini for the whole of May. And it's quite a tantalizing month for you as we're gently wafting towards you, but it being your time. And uh, you've been through the wars in some ways. You've struggled and here you are, a foothold away from the summit of your energy approaching soon. In the meantime, Venus, the planet of love, is shifting signs and making you aware that anything is possible and that you can manifest magic and wonder into your life. It's also great for networking and mixing with people and socializing. You have a certain fabulousness about you that people are drawn to. And if you're single, get out there, baby, because it's all going on and you should have a great time, even if you know, you don't meet the love of your life. You'll meet fabulous people that adore you. Fingers crossed. Now, on the 7th, we have Mercury, your ruler, going into your sign. So you feel really yourself. You feel able to communicate. You have ideas tumbling through you and out. And you're like, oh, really excited about life. You want to learn things. You want to communicate. You want to connect in all sorts of ways. You'll be very prolific anything that you do connected to writing or creativity. However, the flip side of that, because there is always one with everything, is that you've got to be careful what you say. You'll be tempted to say things without thinking, and uh, maybe you'll, you'll be talking from your intellect rather than your heart, and somebody could get hurt feelings, so just be a little bit careful about that. But you've also got such good ideas, don't just sort of spank them out. Allow yourself to write them down, capture them, record them, because you're going to have such an influx of ideas, you don't want to lose some real gems. Now we have a Grand Earth Trine, which is grounding you a little bit, and it's all about your spirituality and going within and understanding that dealing with deep emotions is not necessarily frightening, but it can be life transforming. Pluto is helping you with that. It's revealing things to you. It's opening the shadow up to the light. A double kite is also making you feel more confident in yourself and more secure within your being. And then we have the Cardinal Grand Cross on the 11th, which is challenging us all again, poking us in our darkest corners, but also giving us the opportunity to shine. And I think you might get away with learning stuff through happiness and joy and adventure. You know, it doesn't, learning and, and even kind of uh, being pushed to our limit or being made to understand things in a new way doesn't have to necessarily be about pain, suffering and misery. In fact, in my life, some of the times when I've learned the most and like really had to look within myself to what, what is being blocked was when I was happy because then you can't really blame other things. You really have to take responsibility for what's going on in your own head and your own life. So you should have a great pleasure and wonderful experiences and be creative and push yourself through to have adventures. But there's some learning to be done there. Or along the way, there may be some challenges, but it, it ends up being good. Now, you also should have some great ideas when it comes to your work, but they're kind of slightly out there. It's almost like you feel as if you want to do, do things that are important or about the meaning of life or about, you know, things that matter to you or even things that you're addicted to or obsessed by. You have this desire, very Neptunian desire. Thanks to the Moon Mars conjunct Quincunx Neptune that makes you want to kind of go for it. Now, the full moon is allowing you to look at your emotional health and look at your how you are and, and to take some steps to really look after yourself in some way and to understand that it's how important it is for you to look after you and not just other people. We have Mars going direct, thank goodness, on the 20th. And this is definitely happy days for you because you have been dragged in, in many ways to the past. You might have re-established some old patterns that really give you enjoyment but maybe you need to evolve from. But Mars going direct allows you some full on passion, happiness, possibly even a soulmate connection. But this like, oh, feasting upon the pleasures of life, hurrah. And uh, it's well deserved after all these Cardinal Grand Crosses. Although having said that, there is another Cardinal Grand Cross on the 31st, which is making you just like really crave emotional stability on the one hand, but also there's a part of you that, that wants to take a risk. Now, I can't tell you what to do. That's up to your own soul to guide you. 
But these are certainly interesting times for you this month. I send you much love, take care, and I'll speak to you soon.